hello everyone so today i will explain like how can we write the JUnit test cases and also with that how can we like coverage means check the code coverage is 100 percent or how much percentage code is covering uh, whenever we are writing the code right so as you know like whenever nowadays whenever you are writing any any applications then we have written lots of code right based on the like whatever the requirement it is and how much complexity code is having based on the like requirements we need to write those code now how can we assure that whatever the code we have written it is working fine so there is an options like uh, we need to code commit our code into any uh, repository and then from there we need to deploy our code into the particular server and then from the like portal maybe into the whatever the environment it is like dev or any other environment from there we can check and from there we need to check like and then we, maybe if there is uh, issues is fine and then based on that we need to fix those issues right so this is the one of the approach but so this is taking actually lot of time so instead of that maybe if if is there a certain way that in the while we are developing our code in the same time maybe if we are find those issues so that it will reduce lot of time right so that's why like we need to write the JUnit test cases what it is doing actually using the JUnit maybe we can easily find out like those issues or maybe if uh, any code is not uh, whatever the code we have written it is not expected whatever output we are trying to expect that kind of expectation is not coming so that kind of issues we can easily identified while we are developing those that that can be happened if we are writing the JUnit test cases so in this tutorial i am going to explain like how we are going to write the JUnit test cases so whenever you are writing any application so maybe there is a two three layers so one is the like controller layer second one is the like service layer and then come to the DAO layer DAO means it is actually communicating with the database so now if we are talking about the controller so controller is basically responsible to take the input from the any end user and then it actually passes this in means uh, input actually to the service layer and this particular service layer actually writing means over there we need to write the business logic maybe we need to like provide some kind of the business logic like validations suppose let's take one example so there is a one user actually uh, we need to save uh, the user into the database and another api is responsible to fetch all the user from the database uh, okay this is a very simple example actually now if we are talking about some complex example like uh, uh, we need to get uh, uh, user by id now actually for this id maybe uh, this particular id whatever the id we are getting from the in the controller that particular id maybe is available into the database or not so that particular validation actually you need to check in the service layer and like checking this kind of thing means we need to do one queries for checking from the database like select star from this table where id is equal to this if the data is written by this uh, uh, particular sql then we need to say that data user is valid else we need to throw some kind of customized exception or maybe some uh, error response to the user so that it will be easily understand right so i am already like over here i have written one controller so this is a very simple controller actually it's having a three apis one is like uh, two is get method another one is a post post apis so this is running method actually basically responsible to like uh, checking that particular service is running or not the next is basically responsible to fetch all the user from the database and the third is api is responsible to save the user into the database now what is the responsibility of the service layer so service layer is basically here actually we have auto this user repository and here actually we are doing one find all another one is the saved user so actually if the saved user is successfully then we are returning one success response to the endpoint like user added successfully and this is actually fetching the data from the database and return us all the user from means to the endpoint okay so this is the overall think of this controller and the service layer now how we are going to write the test cases so there is actually two 
टू थ्री ऑप्शन वी कैन से सो फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इज लाइक वी कैन डायरेक्टली चेक दिस फ्रॉम द कंट्रोलर मीन्स वी आर डायरेक्टली कॉलिंग दिस ए पी आईज फ्रॉम द टेस्ट केसेस विथ वैलिड इनपुट और मे बी इन द रेस्पॉन्स व्हाट यू नीड टू चेक व्हाट इवर द लाइक एक्सपेक्टेशन मे बी फॉर दिस मैटर वी शुड एक्सपेक्ट दिस सर्विस इज रनिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर मैसेज वी शुड एक्सपेक्ट फॉर दिस एड यूजर वी शुड एक्सपेक्ट लाइक दिस यूजर एड एड सक्सेसफुली and this for this get all user we should expect some user is return from the databases right so let's check this one so here actually we have uh, used the junit 5 actually okay before going to the over here as it means uh, for creating this project we have used the uh, like uh, spring boot 3 java 17 and a dependency management tool as a gradle so as you can see over here this dependencies we have used like uh, spring boot starter and then web data jpa and mysql as a database and this is starter test actually basically responsible for taking out all the like jars related to the uh, like junit test cases so as you can see if you explore uh, like uh, over here so you can get all the junit 5 related like jupiter 5 so these are the junit 5 related jars these are okay so this is our overall the things about this dependency management tool next like if we come over here as you can see over here we have used this some kind of a random port and this port actually we are using for calling this particular apis so like this api actually basically calling this is running method and in a response we should expect this one means we are calling this uh, particular method using the rest template as you can see over here this particular rest template we are auto running over here uh, we are using the test rest template and also we are mocking this user service so mock means means instead of calling the actual service it actually call the mock means suppose uh, in the user service as you can see we are talking with the databases so in case of the whenever we writing the junit so maybe uh, we don't need to call the actual database right so instead of calling the databases we need to provide some kind of the mock data right so in, so that's why we using the mock instead of actual calling the service we need to use the mock service so that's why we are using mock here so why we need to mock over here as you can see over here that means this is uh, this is fine for uh, test uh, like is running method and this is for the get all user so like uh, here as you can see whenever the user service dot get all user service actually called then actually instead of calling the actual user from the database it should return some dummy user which is actually we have provided over here so this is the like uh, uses of the mock so whenever we are actually calling this user then it will return as this user okay so we are getting the non as and for the add user also like if we are calling this particular this statement then we are expecting this message so directly it will return as this message let's run this uh, test cases okay it will take some time not much and then it will give us the result that right? all the test cases working fine or not for better understanding like i am also like uh, uh, commit this code in the one of the source code main repository and also provide the link in the description section as i can see we have ran this test cases and all the test cases are working fine means all the test cases giving the response properly right so this is one of the way like we can directly call the services uh, directly apis over here instead of like calling the services this is one of the option and second option is to like we need to check this service repository layer as i am not uh, like uh, provided any complexity code over here so this is just simple uh, like logic over here but in a real situation real scenario real, real coding oh, obviously there is some more logic over there so for that we need to write more of the logic if you guys having any kind of like uh, facing difficulties for understanding or maybe not able to understand all the situation please let me know in the comment section so that i can answer those uh, i'll definitely try to clear out those things and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel okay so the next thing like uh, the service layer how can you check the service layer so as you can see over here we are here actually we are mocking this repository and uh, actually we need to call this user service so here you can see like whenever this particular repository actually called as you can see over here this find all or this repository are saved so what actually you are doing repo this find all then we are returning the dummy user same for the save repo dot save is there if it is called then it actually uh, return as the some dummy user so this is the like how we can mock this one 
uh, instead of calling the actual talking with the database let's run this one if we run this one then it will obviously it will uh, both the test case will be success and it will give us the result over here you can see over here it's taking little bit of time not take much yeah both test cases are success now okay so now the test cases wise it is fine now means we can add more test cases based on the your logic now suppose uh, the next point is to like how can we like check the code coverage it means whatever the code we have written all the code is uh, used properly or the coverage is 100% uh, coverage or maybe 90% coverage is done so for that like uh, as uh, there is a one jcoco plugin is there that you can use in our build.gradle as you can see over we use the jcoco plugin over here so jcoco test reports as you can see over jcoco this is the directory where we can see the reports so either if we can uh, like if we build this one then automatically it will generate uh, this particular folder and then automatically you can get the reports from there and it will be means if i have already built this one so that i can get the report so after the build actually it will be generated folder something like this like this one i have already built this project so that this uh, folder actually already generated okay so now like if we check this one uh, index.html so it will be check something like this one okay like as you can see over here controller 100 percent next like service is also 100 percent okay now there is another option actually like uh, we can use some plugin actually eclipse uh, or whatever ide you are using from there there actually we can use some ide uh, how can we download this id from the eclipse marketplace you need to go over there and from here actually you need to search uh, coverage plugin okay you need to search over here like coverage okay so here actually will this ecl emma java code coverage i've already installed in our id so that's why it's showing install if you are not installed so then it will be shows as install so please install this one and once this is installation is done successfully uh, it will ask for the restart your id then please restart this one once all the things will be done restart is done then you will get one option something like coverage as so here you will get two and options java application or JUnit test run as with JUnit test case so one you will run this one from the eclipse so you will get means from here it you will can understand like how much coverage it is it will take little bit of time just wait for some time so that it will generate all the code coverages okay you can see the all the test cases are fine now once all the test cases will run run and then you will uh, get the report jco code okay you can see 98.2 percentage code coverages if we expand this one you can see like these are the code coverages okay so this is the like uh, overall things for this one like how you are run JUnit test cases in your local as well as how you are generating uh, code coverages uh, using Gradle uh, as well as using uh, like uh, some plugins uh, in Eclipse plugin so this is the like overall things of uh, writing the JUnit test cases and the code coverage if you guys have anything please do let me know in the comment section please don't please uh, like sub don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching bye bye